is Jose from ultimatemuseguides.com and I want to thank you for um, coming to our YouTube channel and watching um, our uh, tutorials. And in this uh, specific one, we're going to teach you guys how to create a very, very large uh, gallery, image gallery. And um, I say large image gallery because this image gallery is going to have uh, multiple pages that can slide in. And um, in fact, let me go ahead and show you what we're actually going to create just by previewing it in browser and showing you how it works. So here I have a whole bunch of different images, okay, and I have um, different sections that you can hover and, and click on. And it also works again like a regular slideshow where it'll bring up the light box to see a larger preview of the image with all the um, buttons and everything that go along with it. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay. And here we go. So what this is really what we're doing is nesting widgets inside of, of each other. Um, so we're going to start with the top layer uh, widget, which is the competition. We're going to use blank. Okay. We'll go ahead and stretch out the um, this box out to the size we want. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and grab the triggers and put them to the top. Okay. Let's move this down a little bit. I'm going to resize the triggers. And, and a real quick tip, when you're wanting to resize multiple elements, if you grab any part of here, it's just going to resize them individually. But if you grab the the nod that looks like a circle, it'll resize them all together proportionally. Okay, so there you go. Then we'll go ahead and put our little titles over each section. Okay, another, another cool tip if you want to capitalize a text box without actually having to press caps lock or shift on your keyboard, you can just go into your text panel and click the button that looks like two capital T's. Okay. There we go. Go ahead and copy and paste that two more times. Okay. Switch the name of those sections. Nothing in particular, just some random names. Okay, then we'll go ahead and play with the color of each section, of each trigger, I would say. Actually, here's another tip you can use. If you go to clear all styling, just click anywhere on the widget, clear all styling, and it will go ahead and take off all the default styling, and you can start from scratch. So we'll go into the normal, put a light color, go to hover. Go to dark color, go to active, go to black, and that takes care of that for there. Do the same thing, we'll just change the color on this one. And last one. And we had just finished styling our little section triggers. <coughs> and now we'll go ahead and start on the first section. I want, a, I want a very, very light uh, off-white background, maybe like 95% for all my back, uh, backgrounds of my sections. So I'm going to do that real quick. So clicking into each section, clicking the container, and adding the 95% off-white. Okay, so there we go, we're ready to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and nest another widget inside there and it's gonna be the slideshow widget. And we're gonna click Lightbox because we want it to go ahead and appear, um, we want the Lightbox to appear every time we click on an image inside this gallery. Okay, so to go ahead and uh, get the first part of this started, just go ahead and click on the, the Lightbox container 
and show light um, click off the show light box part while editing so we can just work with the thumbnails for a second okay then go ahead and resize the thumbnail container all to the full height and width of the of the composition container and go into the each thumbnail and just resize it and if you haven't clicked anything when you resize one of those thumbnails it will proportionally resize the rest of them but I want it to be maybe like this this big okay I'll go ahead and add some more images some random images that I have in my computer okay and a whole bunch of random images just to fill it up and as it loads it up it's going to proportionally organize them all together right within that container as you see here okay you can add more if you want or if you're if you don't have any more images to add just resize the thumbnails and I'll go ahead and fix that and as you see the more thumbnails you add, it will resize the top layer widget, which was the composition one, automatically with whatever content you have in the slideshow widget. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and take those thumbnail container and just move, actually move the thumbnail container down a little bit. Let's work on the light box. So, um, you go ahead and click on the thumbnail container. Just make sure you don't touch, you know, if you want to touch the light box, you got to make sure you go into the light box um, or into the uh, slideshow container. And it should show you up there slideshow options. And go ahead and click on the show light box part while editing. And then you go ahead and move it to the back so that the light box will come in front of the thumbnails. The way I moved it to the back, if you want to use a keyboard shortcut, it's usually Command and um, the bracket, the left bracket key and you can just go ahead and resize the light box a little bit if you want if you don't want any of those uh, extra little buttons like the preview and next or counter or the captions you can take that off or keep it there and place it inside the black area and um, it'll appear when the light box comes up but there you go so the light box is set up go ahead and deselect it so we can keep working and let's just go ahead and copy this uh, widget, this slideshow widget, onto the other sections. Resize it a little bit, move it a little bit so it looks good. Go to the last section. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and test it out, see if we did it correctly, which I know we did. Okay, so there we go. We got our, our very large gallery with our sections. Right now it's on the websites. If we go to graphics, it'll bring those up. If we go to print, it'll bring those up. And as you see, there's a little fade. That's the transition effect. But you can change those as well. And you do that on the top layer widget, which is the composition widget. And you can go ahead and change the, you know, the um, transition effects. Okay. Preview the page again in browser. Let's see how that effect looks. There we go looks great so it works sort of like uh, the other one we did the other one the only difference the other one had was uh, the, the thumbnails were a little bigger and there was uh, transitioning horizontally which you can still do with this but that's another way you can do it vertically or do it fading so um, and that's how you create a very large gallery and again you can add more sections here and let me show you how to do that real quick you can just go ahead and click the plus button next to the triggers and it'll go ahead and add those in for you. And then you just go and change the color for the normal and rollover states. And then, you know, add another title for your section. And then again, go back to one of those uh, thumbnail uh, galleries or the slideshow gallery. Copy and paste that into the new section and customize it how you feel you want to. And uh, you can make a very, very large gallery. And uh, the gallery will look great. So, well, I hope you like this tutorial. Again, we have a lot more coming out. Um, Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we have a lot of our free videos. And um, head over to our ultimatenewsguides.com and you can get special offers and, and uh, keep up to date with what's going on here at Ultimate News Guides uh, by joining our newsletter. 
and uh, you know please give us a like if you if you enjoyed this video and uh, visit our Facebook page and do the same okay well you guys have a great day thank you